Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Dr. Byrne here. In this video, you will learn how to solve word problems in algebra related to age. Alright, so I'll be sharing you my proven technique in solving word problems involving age. Alright, so without much ado, let's go straight and let's have example number one. Alright, so let's have the first example. Mr. Uy is four times as old as his son. In three years, Mr. Uy will be three times as old as his son. How old is each now? Alright, so in solving any word problem in algebra, it is best that you read each problem carefully. Meaning, you have to read it line by line or sentence by sentence. And then, while reading, you have to take down what are the given and what are being asked in the problem. So, let's start with this one. Let's start with the first sentence here. Mr. Uy is four times as old as his son. So, meaning, if we're going to let X be the son's age, what will be the age of Mr. Oi? So, 4 times of 8, so that will become 4X. So, this will be Mr. Oi's age. Alright. So, another technique that I use in solving problems like this I used to create table and then I place the the given in the problem. So let's do that. So let's have here the sun and here Mr. Hui. And then let's identify the present age. So what's their present age? The present age of the sun is X and Mr. Hui's age is 4X. There's another condition here. In three years, Mr. Oi will be three times as old as his son. So in three years, meaning we need to add three more years both to the son and to Mr. Oi. So let's have it here. In three years. So we will have x plus three here, and then you will have four x plus three here. All right, so these are their ages in three years all right so how old is each now so let's have it here solution so we're going to use this condition in three years mr oi will be three times as old as his son so what's the age of mr oi mr oi is 4x plus 3 and what's the age of the son x plus 3 all right, but the problem states that it's going to be three times. So, I mean the same need to multiply three here. All right, so simplifying this further, this will give us 4x plus 3 equals, multiply this one, that will give us 3x. Okay, multiply this one, that will give us 9. Simplifying this further, we will have 4x minus 3x equals 9 minus 3. And so we will have x equals 9 minus 3 is 6. This is the sun's age. I mean to say the age of the sun is 6 years old. And so what will be the age of Mr. Oi? 4 times of it. So that will give us 4 times 6 equals 24. So this is Mr. Oi's Alright, so these are our answers. Let's have more. Alan is twice as old as Alex. If 4 is added to Alex's age and 10 subtracted from, the Al from Alan's age, their ages will then be equal. Okay, so let's start again with the first sentence. Alan is twice as old as Alex. So, if we're going to let X be... Alex age okay so what will be the age of Alan so Alan will be twice of it so 2x this will be Alan's age all right now let's again create a table let's have here Alex let's have here Alan What's their present age? 
the present age is x while Alan is 2x. Alright? So, let's have the second condition here. If 4 is added to Alex's age, so if 4 is added, mean to say we add 4 to Alex's age, and then 10 is subtracted from Alan's age. Alan's age is 2x. We subtract 10 to it, so 2x minus 10. Okay? And the last condition here states that their ages will then be equal. Alright, so let's have it here. So, their ages will then be equal. So, 2x minus 10 equals x plus 4. So, combining like terms, we will have 2x minus x equals 4 plus 10. Okay, transposing 10 minus 10 to the right side, so that becomes plus 10. 2x minus x is x, and 4 plus 10 is 14. This means that Alex is 14 years old. Okay. So what will be the age of Alan? So Alan is twice as old as Alex. So this will be 2 times 14. That will give us 28. This is Alan's age. Alright. Let's have this one. In 10 years, Steve's age will be the same as Jasper, Jasper's age now. In 4 years, Jasper will be twice as old as Steve. Find their present ages. Alright. So again, let's start with the first sentence. So in 10 years, Steve's age will be the same as the age of Jasper now. So if we're going to let X be the age of Jasper, Okay. What will be the age of Steve? Since the problem states that in 10 years, Steve's age will be the same as the age of Jasper's now. And so if we're going to add 10 more years for the age of Steve, that will be the same as the age of Jasper now. So meaning to say, we simply have to subtract 10 from the age of Jasper, then that will be the age of Steve. Alright? So let's show that in table. So let's have Jasper and let's have Steve. Alright? And their present age is x while for Steve is x minus 10. Okay, let's have the next condition. In four years, mean to say, in four more years, we need to add four more years for the age of Jasper and Steve. So let's have it here. In four years, this means we need to add four more years for Jasper and four more years for the age of Steve. All right? And the, the, the problem states that Jasper will be twice as old as Steve. So let's have the equation here. Solution. Okay. So Jasper, whose age is x plus 4 in 4 years, will be twice as old as Steve. And Steve is x minus 10 plus 4. Twice of it. Right? Twice of it. Okay? Means say we double the age of Steve. So this will become now x plus 4 equals x minus 6. Negative 10 plus 4 is negative 6. That become minus 6 times 2. Okay. Simplifying further, we will have x plus 4. 2 times x is 2x. Negative 6 times 2 is 12. And combining like terms, we will have x minus 2x equals negative 12 minus 4. So this will become negative 1, uh, negative x rather, minus 16. 
right? Dividing both sides by negative 1, or you may also multiply both sides by negative 1, it will give you the same result in a way that will give us negative 16, negative 1. Therefore, x equals 16, which is actually the age of Jasper. Okay? Jasper's age. Alright? So, what will be the age of Steve. So, Steve is x minus 10 years old. So, this will become 16 minus 10. That will give you 6. Okay? Meaning, Steve is 6 years old. So, this is Steve's age. Alright. Let's have the last one. Sheila or Sheila's age in 20 years will be the same as Tanya's age now. 10 years from now, Tanya's age will be twice as Sheila's age. What are their present ages? All right, so let's have again the first sentence here. Sheila's age is 20, in, Sheila's age in 20 years will be the same as Tanya's age now. So again, if you are going to let X be Tanya's age now, so what do you think is the age of Sheila now? Okay, so of course, we simply have to subtract 20 years from it. So, X minus 20, that will be the age of Sheila now. Okay, can you follow? Let's have here Sheila's age now. Alright, so let's have again a table here. So this will be Tanya, this will be Sheila, and their present age. Is X, and this one is X minus 20. Let's go to next sentence 10 years from now meaning to say 10 years from now we need to add 10 more years from tanya's age and from sheila's age so this will become okay or 10 years from now so this will be x plus 10 and this will be x minus 20 plus 10 okay so let's have the solution here. All right. So 10 years from now, Tanya's age, Tanya's age is X plus 10. All right. Will be twice as old as Sheila. Twice as old as Sheila. And the age of Sheila is X minus 20 plus 10 in 10 years. So simplifying this, we will have X plus 10 equals 2x uh, 2 times x minus 10 okay so this will have this will be x plus 10 and this will be 2x and then this will be minus 20 all right so combining like terms you will have x minus 2x equals minus 20 minus 10 so this will be negative x equals negative 30. So dividing both sides by negative 1, this will give us negative 30 divided by negative 1. So x here is equal to 30, meaning to say Tanya is 30 years old. Alright, so what will be the age of Sheila? Okay, so Sheila is x minus 20 years old so our x is 30 minus 20 that will become 10 all right so sheila's age is 10 years old sheila's age all right so i hope you enjoy this video and if you find this helpful i would appreciate if you click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will be notified every time I upload my 
my new video. So thank you for your time and thank you for watching.